looking at me with some headphones on, and these are uh, headphones for shooting shotguns. And you're also looking at pictures of mostly Obama shooting a shotgun, a famous image of Obama shooting a shotgun, which has uh, been photoshopped and photoshopped and photoshopped over and over again. So there's maybe, you know, what the original image looked like. Here's the Rastafarian version. Here is, uh, I'm not sure what version that is. Here's uh, another version and yet one more version. Some pretty interesting versions. And you might be asking yourself, why, Todd? Why, why are you wearing those uh, shotgun ear protection headphones while you're making this video? And the reason I am wearing them is because I want to talk to you about input and output. Uh, that's what we're talking about this week. We're talking about input and output. And I want to talk to you about protecting your hearing so that you don't go deaf. I want you to protect your hearing so that you don't go deaf. And an essential part of that is, uh, is having good headsets, having a good headset when you listen to things in the world. And so, you know, here's uh, Dr. Dre or whatever his name is. And, uh, you know, a little bit about him, rapper, uh, record producer, rapper, entrepreneur. There we go. And um, he has uh, Beats by Dr. Dre. Beats by Dr. Dre. There we go. 180 bucks, $200. And those are headphone headphones you might get to listen to music or anything from your personal media player, your PMP, like your iPod personal media player. But when I search for what is the noise reduction level of wearing those Dr. Dre Beats, uh, I found this interesting article here that says they claim a noise reduction level of up to 14 decibels, but in reality, when this one person did a test, they only reduced, uh, showed a max reduction of four to five decibels. Well, what does that mean? Well, here's the danger, and this is why this is an essential computer skill. You've got your, uh, your personal media player earbuds, like your iPod earbuds, and you plug those in, and if you're in a quiet environment, you don't need to have the volume very loud on your little PMP player thing here. You don't have to have the volume very loud to uh, listen to whatever it is on your headphones. However, as you go into the world and you get on the subway or you go into the gym or wherever you happen to go, and if you have these in, what happens often is that people will turn up the volume so that they can cancel out the noise that's around them and continue to hear what's coming through their earbuds. And what happens when they do that is they start listening to things too loud on their earbuds and uh, it leads to hearing loss. Uh, to the extent that the New York Times had an article uh, back in January 7th, 2011 that said uh, hearing loss, the number of teenagers with hearing loss from slight to severe has jumped 33% since 1994. And uh, the reason that they attribute to the hearing loss are these little culprits right here, because people have these plugged in, and then they turn up the volume to override external noise. And, uh, and there's a variety of different articles out there that support that. So if you go to Google and search for, does listening to an iPod too loud make you deaf? Or if you go to Google Scholar and search for the same thing, you'll find a variety of articles that support the fact that you don't want to listen to these guys with too much volume, otherwise it will create deafness. Uh, yeah, and that's an important thing because I'm actually somebody who has had some hearing loss in his life from listening to um, music too loud. And uh, I, here's that story I told you I'd tell you about. I went in one time for a hearing uh, test because my ex-wife uh, at the time, she said, I want you to go in for a hearing test. I think you've had hearing loss. So I went in for the hearing test and they said, put these headphones on and every time you hear, uh, every time you hear the sound in the headphones, press the button. So I sat in the room for like two minutes and, you know, uh, with the headphones and nothing was happening. So I went back out and I said, when does the test start? And the doctor said, oh, it's already going. <laughs> so I just wasn't hearing the buzz as I was supposed to hear to press the button. So I don't want you to end up like me with some hearing loss. And, uh, and there are steps you can take to prevent the hearing loss from listening to your iPhone, iPod, personal media player headset too loud. Um, there's a lot of research that shows that causes hearing loss. And uh, if you, you could also go to Google and search for MIHL PMP. That's, that's what's MIHL, music induced hearing loss, personal music players. And that'll bring up articles about it as well as on Google Scholar, music induced hearing loss, personal media players. 
So what you could do, what you could do to protect your ears is uh, you need to cancel out, you need to uh, block the external sound so that you don't turn your earbuds up too much. And if you go to uh, Amazon, you can get these Bose Quiet Comfort uh, noise canceling headphones for two hundred sixty nine dollars. Two hundred sixty nine dollars, and uh, those are those are okay. Those are okay. And the thing you want to look for when you're shopping for uh, headphones that get rid of the external noise is that there's two things to know about. There's two things to know about. There is uh, let me just find the article. There's noise isolation and there's also noise cancellation. So noise isolation is like these, right? These are Pelter shotgun headset headphones or whatever. And you can find these on Amazon for 22 bucks. Like there they are. And uh, the decibel rating on that noise reduction rating is 30 decibels. So if I put these on, the world really goes quiet. Like, you know, I want to start talking louder and it just really blocks out the noise. I actually think these are like way cooler than Dr. Dre's anyhow. I mean, black, that red stripe, they're a little bit bigger. They're pretty dang cool. Um, so yeah, 22 bucks, you can get these on Amazon. And these are noise cancellation, right? So we said that there's a noise, noise isolation. Sorry, this is noise isolation. So we're isolating ourselves from the noise. Um, and so these are great. So what I do is I just put my earbuds in. And then I put these guys on. And uh, they're totally comfortable. It locks out all the noise around me to 30 decibels, which is huge. And, uh, and I don't have to turn the volume up on my earbuds to hear whatever I'm listening to. So if I'm riding the bus, or if I'm on an airplane, or if I'm sitting like in an airport terminal, or you know, just walking you know, wherever, uh, I'll have these guys on with my earbuds inside. And that's a really inexpensive quick fix. And by the way, I also find these to be pretty awesome for studying if you're in the library or at school and uh, you just slip these guys on and it just goes quiet around you and you could focus, right? So I, th I find this to be a really useful item to have in one's backpack. And uh, I've had it in my backpack for dec no, not decades now, since like maybe 2007 or 2008 when I uh, yeah started to realize that yeah, I needed that. So that's a noise isolation. You're isolating yourself. You're isolating yourself from the noise. Noise cancellation is when you know you've got one sound wave that's going in this pattern, and then software could identify that and then offer the opposite sound wave. And those two sound waves are kind of like ripples on the water or something, and or like um, you know I don't know I can't think of the example, but. It, they cancel each other out. So when they're placed, played at the same time, it actually becomes zero. So that's noise cancellation. And so these Bose headsets are really, um, they do a lot of noise cancellation. They have some isolation, but their biggest part is noise cancellation. And their DB review is, uh, you know, uh, 19 to 26 decibels. Right, 19 to 26 decibels is the amount they reduced external noise, 19 to 26. So these guys here reduce it 30. So they, they do better and they cost less. And you know, maybe you think they're cool, maybe you don't, maybe you think they're too big. But I've traveled around the world with these guys and uh, I think they're great. So you want to get headphones, uh, some sort of a headset which cancels noise. Even these guys have you know, little things around them so they fit in your ears more securely and block out some of the external ambient noise. But you just also want to be careful that you're not listening to your headsets too loud. And one of the easiest ways to listen to your headsets too loud is to be in a loud environment and then just turn your volume up to override the surrounding noise. Because if you do that, you're going to create hearing loss. And, uh, and it's an essential computer skill not to go deaf, not to go deaf. Don't play it too loud. Otherwise, you'll go deaf, and then you'll be uh, 42 years old, and you'll find yourself going, what? 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 And uh, so that's an essential computer skill. And I really recommend, I'm just looking here, Let's see if there's anything else I want to say. I really recommend these guys right here, these shotgun helmets, shotgun headset earphones right here, and uh, just basic earbuds. And that, that's great. That fits a lot of uh, 
the environments where I need to use them. If you need to use them in the gym, I don't know, maybe don't use them in the gym. That'd be a little bit bulky to wear in the gym. And gyms are loud places. And gyms usually have music. All right, so that's what I have to say about protecting your hearing. You are informed. And, uh, and, uh, and you know, I hope you take good precautions so that you do not end up with one of these things, hearing aids, which you might need if you blow out your ears. <laughs> All right, protect your ears. That's an essential computer skill.